Hello, it's Vicki LaRoe with Modern Jewelry Creators. Thank you for joining me for part two of our new crystal collections for spring that are inspired by Pantone's Colors of the Year for 2024. This is part two. Like I mentioned, I made a part one where I showed kind of the beginning of building these color palettes and I had hoped to have part two this uh, section done and up in time for Mother's Day which was last Sunday uh, but it didn't happen so we have it today often these these kinds of projects take me a lot longer than I think they're going to uh, and it also was my Mother's Day as well uh, it's a little trickier when you're you know you have adult kids and families of their own and um, so I saw Sophia on Friday and Julian on Saturday and talked to Trevor on Sunday. Thank God for FaceTime when your child lives in another country. Uh, so my Mother's Day went like extended for three days, which was wonderful. Uh, but then on Monday, we jumped right back on this and I've got it done. And not just the beautiful palettes made, but samples as well, because those are important to me to be able to share the palette in different ways. So I shared last time the little uh, kind of handout I made that uh, showed Pantone's color of the year for 2024 is this peach fuzz. And then they do 10 other trend colors and five other uh, neutral colors for the year. I might move that. Um, well, but so I made our version of Peach Fuzz. I don't love that name, so we've changed it. And then I made a second palette using uh, a handful of their trend colors. And so we've made Bellini's Bellini Bling and our Island Breeze. And I used the Capri and the Mint Lemon Drop and a little of the Chambray. And I'm excited to share them all with you now. So both of them have uh, a little something special about them besides being lovely and so i'm going to share the palettes and then talk about the samples and share those and and how the kits are available and stuff uh after so i shared in the first video in part one that uh the, the beads i was using so for our bellini bling we ended up using 75 different different crystals in her to make it and I think it turned out beautiful I'm trying to keep it in the light very uh, very uh, blush soft peachy pinks very neutral and soft very wearable but still very happy right look at all those soft lovely sparkles right I'll tell you, peach, um, you know, if you love peach as a color, you know, it's like people that love yellow, which I love yellow too, but um, it's a pretty rare thing. I'll tell you from having a bead store for 30 years, blue will always be the best selling color followed by purple. The, the worst selling colors on the bottom bottom are orange and yellow, which is peach, <laughs> you know? So though I, th again, think of this more in the pinky realms. So I tried to make a lot of blush tones in there and I think she just turned out beautiful. And if you didn't catch a part one for whatever reason, uh, the palette, here's our palette they end up making. Let me get a little board. What we're trying to get to is this beautiful jar here of our mixed palette, 350 crystals, 300 of, uh, crystals that are four millimeter, three and two, so smaller in uh, Swarovski, Czech fire polish, and Chinese uh, thunder polish can be in bicones, rounds, rondelles, cubes, all the things. There's absolutely no seed beads. You'll never find a seed bead uh, in any of our palettes. I use only crystals or I make the gemstone and, and freshwater pearls. Now, I will tell you, besides having 75 different colors, that's the most I've ever used for a palette. Besides that, I ended up adding 
check pearls in there in four colors. You can see some of them there. Because I just felt like she needed like the little bubbles in the Bellini, say. Like, oh, that would have been a good one too. Bellini bubbles. Or, well, not really. Bellini bling. It, boy, there's a lot of choices when you're going for the, the B words. Um, it's so, so beautiful. And these are Czech pearls. Uh, right, so anything made in the Czech Republic in Europe are higher quality. Uh, and they're really hard to find these days. Often when you, you know, find a glass pearl, they're mostly Chinese. And, uh, you know, you get what you pay for. The Czech pearl, it'll, it'll never chip. The whole strills, you won't find flakes of the, you know, coating on the outside. Anyway, I think the addition of the pearls brings a beautiful luster to her. Uh, and it just turned out gorgeous. I'll show palette or the samples as soon as we go through both colors. Our second one is Island Breeze, where I used, I showed you the, we used the Capri Blue as kind of the starting color, along with their Mint and Lemon Drop and Chambray, and then I added a lot of other beautiful colors, uh, more of teals and aquas and sage greens and uh, even a little bit of periwinkle and uh, just beautiful and so to me it looks like a tropical vacation right like um, I'm in the Bahamas for the weekend if I can only I've never been to the Bahamas at all I don't know for a weekend but I imagine it's tropical and beautiful like this so um, I just I this palette turned out fantastic really really lovely lots of where this is I think really soft and neutral in a way I wanted some brights but but I still think they're very tasteful and again very you know wearable so here's our uh, palette let me get my board again so I'm going to show you so a couple a neat thing about this one uh, besides how just lovely it is stunning so after I made the video, the part one, where this palette also had uh, like 60 different strands in the smaller ones, in the fours, threes, and twos, and uh, 28 or something different strands in the six and eight millimeter, the larger ones. After I filmed that, I uh, found about 15 more colors to put in this <laughs> palette. So our Island Breeze uses almost 90 90 different beads and uh, because most of them were fire polish which is a different shape uh, again and they're made in the Czech Republic and so it's a European glass right so fire polish is shaped like a little oval right like that where this is uh, the Chinese kind of rondel or thunder polish and then Swarovski crystals of course don't come in the strand they only come loose so of course, they don't make the beads anymore, but that's a whole other video. So after I found all those beautiful fire polish, because they're shaped a little bit bigger, they didn't all fit. I mean, it made this one before. It's gorgeous. So now our Island Breeze uh, palette is going to come in two vials. <laughs> the, the one has all the four millimeter threes and twos, and then this one has all the... Um, sixes and eights because the beads were just too big to fit in my larger <laughs> one um so it, it could come to you either way when you when you order them um but both of these palettes are i've never made a palette with so many different beads the closest one is this one i have here that i brought up because i wanted to show it uh, and i did show it the last video too our magical season that i made at christmas uh that i use this taller vial and I use the larger beads the six and the eights for the first time in the palette for 350 lovely crystals in here and besides that one right I and I mentioned this last video but I just wanted just quickly right we carry these four mixes uh, all the time I call them our classic colors the black diamond the champagne and cognac uh, the opal roses and the blue violet and uh, they're just great classic 
combinations. And the little um, sample I have there is always the one vial, equivalent of one vial. So it allows you to see not only the color story, but the volume. Because when you tell people there's 300 crystals in there, it, it's a lot, but it's hard to, I think, I know it's hard to kind of visualize. So I always string this little strand and we do what we call a professional finish with French wire on the ends. Sorry, I, need, I always need more hands. But right with a little French wire finish, it's on a 19 strand 015 Beadalon with sterling crimps, French wire, crimp covers, and then of course our lovely hammered toggle. And you can add this on this little stringy kit on too, um, on, onto any of the kits if you want to make something like this. So these little palettes I carry all the time are $20. Uh, again, the, the equivalent of like if you purchase any strands that are four millimeter or smaller, there's about a hundred beads on there. So um, you're getting, these palettes always have about 30 colors, different colors, and different beads in there you know, for the equivalent of what it costs for like three strands. And I like to show the black diamond, the black and white one, because I completely understand how it would seem like, well, there that's an easy one to make, right? It's just black and white and thing, but maybe, but uh, because there's 30 different colors, there's 15 different colors of gray in here. That's what, you can't just go stark from black to white or black to clear right that what makes a palette work are all the shades in between and so um that's what i always think makes this beautiful black diamond palette work so lovely it's all the different shades there's 15 like i said shades of gray and then actually many shades of black and clear and white and uh, whatever so which is true on all of them those are um, like i said always 20 dollars to carry them all the time then when we do when I do special mixes like the ones I'm showing today, uh, like Magical Season was one, but this was also a uh, previous one. This is our Southwest Sunset. So when I do a special mix, um, it's a little bit more. It's twenty-two dollars. Generally, there's more beads in there. This one probably has forty-five uh, different crystals, and uh, and this is her strand, which is also a little bit a little bit longer it's a really beautiful mix um, this is one I like to show that you can do in silver or gold depending like with the metal depending on the beads you choose out of the palette right so we can make it be more of a warm tone or more of a cool tone just depending on the beads that you're using from her so that's more of a specialty palette the now that I do these larger, or started doing these larger ones, are 28 So it's only six more dollars for 50 more beads, which, uh, again, would be the equivalent of buying one more strand of, of beads, of just the, when we're talking about Chinese ones. So I'm all about the education, uh, right? There's, a, there's about 100 beads on there, or 50 beads, on, depending on the size. There's 50 beads on an 8 millimeter. There's 70 on a 6, and 100 on a 4. A fire polish strand that we looked at this one before has 25 strands for about or for 25 beads um, that retails for around four dollars for this one it's, it's quite a bit more expensive because it's a European glass okay. we'll we'll skip the rest of the education um, I know it's why videos are so long but it's so important to me it, on YouTube especially my customers that have been buying from me for decades I already know a lot of this but uh, it's a newer audience on YouTube that doesn't know me and so just sharing the knowledge uh, so I'm going to show these samples and I'll talk about my new courses and stuff in a, later so I loved like I love to do the samples right we talked about those and looked at some of those what I did for the strand for these ones the stringing I was short on time where I was trying to hurry but I still wanted to make them because it's important to me that you can see the color story uh, and get an idea of volume. However, I decided to make the, these half the size. So they're 24 inches because I thought this way you can still see it and visualize, okay, it's twice as much. <laughs> um, 
So this is that Bellini one. And again, it's just, I think it's a beautiful palette. And I made the other little dancing jewels I'm going to show you in a second. But there's her lovely um, wrap strand. The one I showed you before that I made in the, at the holidays was called Magical Season is the first one I, like I said, the first one I did with the larger beads that did make a four foot strand that I strung this four foot strand. Uh, so this is the equivalent of these larger vials, right? I just didn't string it all. I strung half the length. I hope that makes sense. So I understand it's very pretty and very impactful being this long. And what's, so your vial will make this length. I just didn't want to spend the time or not just the time, but the beads even because these are very 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 limited quantities um right we're talking about like 15 maybe of this and 20 of that one so i i really don't like using up the pa the palette beads for samples um so i might end up cutting it apart even but it will end up making four feet and what i love about a four foot strand i think it's quite pretty with the bigger beads in there at that length you can you know double it then as a necklace easily uh, and wear that little pretty statement clasp in front you could even do it three times if you wanted a shorter necklace and or you could do that as a wrapped bracelet and uh, when you do the we call it a pro finish when you do the professional finish kit the wrap kit uh, it comes, of course, with all the beetle on, the crimp tubes, the French wire, the crimp covers, the instructions, and a video on how to string uh, more of a random style, like string these mixed beads without a pattern, per se. Um, so you get all that for $15 uh, after you buy the palette. But it also comes with the spacer. So this one was done in gold, and you can see there's a gold uh, gold spacers in between the large ones. Anyway, I really, since I always liked the way this finished strand came out um, for a sample is why I started adding the larger beads. So we'll put her away. But just, I just want you to have a visual. This is half the size of what yours would turn out if you were to string the whole thing. But it's gorgeous. And that's our Bellini bling. And this is our lovely island breeze the other thing about the 24 inches is it doesn't really come out to a bracelet like it needs to be about 30 inches for a wrap bracelet for me at least um, but I just I love the colors it's just so fun and um, summertime and with so many colors in there even though some of them are brighter colors there's so many again there's 90 90 <laughs> different colors uh, in there that again all the shades just really fold in together beautifully and so you can really wear it with so many different colors even though you might not think so on top of your head it really will work with so many different shades of blues or greens or neutrals just to be a fun a fun piece um, or whatever you want to do with it you certainly don't have to string it like this these are our little dancing jewel bracelet these are also available as an add-on kit that you can make with your palette um, it's a great way to use the little mixed beads this is our dancing jewels in the bellini in gold and you don't have to do the Bellini and gold and the island and silver. I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, right, but it's so, so pretty. And so this is our Dancing Jewels. Um, is an add-on kit that comes with, of course, all the chain, the beautiful statement, toggle, all the head pins and all the charms and all the instructions um, and the video. Right, it's so, so pretty. And there's another add-on bonus I'll show you in just one second. Sorry, I didn't want to... The reason I put these on little stands is so they wouldn't make noise on the cardboard. And here's our Island Breeze 
in silver. Look how gorgeous. How lovely is she? Right? And this uses hardly any of your palette. Right? There's literally 26 beads on there. So it's going to use close to nothing of your palette. You're not even going to miss them. It's going to be, you know, the like eighth of an inch off the top, not even. Look at how, we'll back up how pretty this is in silver and, and that. So gorgeous. So here's the, the thing. So this uh, Dancing Jewels bracelet kit is available as an add-on kit for $22. It's very good price. I want you to envision her as a necklace, so you could also do this as a necklace, right? How pretty would this be? Uh, as a necklace, and it's just gorgeous. You could do the toggle, even in front, for a necklace if you wanted. I think I had my... Let's see if this will stand. It'll work for us, otherwise we're going to have to use our imagination. But, yeah, I have to keep it together for it to, to toggle. But, right, this could easily be the front of the necklace. Whoops. I can tell I don't edit, but that's not my specialty. This is. Uh, but this would be gorgeous, right, as the front of the necklace. If you wanted to use that little toggle as more of a pendant, right, and even drop more, you know, chains or something down there. So, you can do the add-on bracelet kit, right? I'm showing you. And you can add on a necklace extension. So, if you wanted to make this into a necklace, that there's that addition as well, like a, as an add-on. You need three times the chain. So, it comes with uh, the additional chain, the additional charms, and all that so that you can um, make it into a necklace and that necklace add-on kit is only I think it's $14 I hate quoting prices but it's very inexpensive maybe it's only $13 14 22 yeah and then 14 uh, and again it comes with all the instructions and the video the online class video are you kidding me for 35 bucks or whatever um, and uses again very little of your palette actually right and it's so, I just think it's so pretty. This is one of my favorite pieces to wear. And they're actually beautiful to, if you're going to do a bracelet to wear together, right? They stack together. Look how gorgeous. These would be worn together. I just, you know, more is better. <laughs> um, so, so pretty. And before we go, I just wanted to lastly mention... You definitely do not have to do gold. Uh, I did gold with the Bellini so that this would also be a cohesive, uh, you know, photo. Um, and I did the silver with the Island Breeze, but that is definitely not. Uh, you don't have to stick with that at all. all. Right, here's my little dish. You can most definitely do, I grabbed a big silver chain. You can most definitely do the silver in here with that, right? Look how pretty. Gorgeous. Silver works fantastic in that Bellini mix. Just like the gold will work in this island breeze. Look at that. Stunning. Right? Look how beautiful that is. So, that's it's not always the case with the palettes I make, but with these it does work. Uh, so you can do either, either metal with them. And so when you order uh, the palettes, which there's very, very, very limited <laughs> supply. So depending on when you're watching this, it could be, you know, all gone, but at least it's pretty to look at, you know, the colors. Uh, what was I just saying? When you order them, there's you can order the palette. You can order uh, the pro, we call it pro finish uh, necklace or matte bracelet kit. It's $15. You can add on, the, or, you, and, and, or, you can add them all on if you want to. The Dancing Jewels kit, uh, they all come uh, with the videos. 22, that has another necklace add-on for another 14. Um, and there's also, just, you'll notice a little um, multi-strand bracelet kit that also could be added on for $10. Uh, that's just the three strands with a little dangle. 
but it's another option. So I just like to have the samples I'm showing available as very affordable, easy add-ons, as beautiful designs that you can make with these palettes. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh my gosh, in less than half an hour, I'm so impressed with myself. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I will leave links below directly to uh, where we keep our, our color palettes on our website. And um, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're still around, uh, I'll announce a secret thing uh, that I'm doing that I'll kind of half announce it. Right, one reason why I do kind of go rambling off on different qualities is one reason is because this is over video. And so you can't feel it. You don't see it in person. Um, so much of quality, like anything, is in the tactile <laughs> feeling of it and actually, you know, seeing it in person. The color and the vibrance and all, all of that can vary based on my monitor, based on your monitor, you know, and all that. So um, anyway, because of those barriers, I tend to go overboard talking about quality. My bead store was also based on, I, we carried very, very high quality materials. It was 5,000 square feet, which is really huge of beads and uh, high in classes and blah, blah, blah. I am going to be offering um, two things, an online course that shows you how to sell your own beads and jewelry making supplies. I started selling my longtime customers bead collections for them um, a few years back, and uh, we call them estate sales. And then I stopped doing that last year. It's just too much work for me to do so many different people. So it's um, so I don't. Um, the only exception would be I'm only doing high end gemstones, <clears throat> but otherwise, uh, instead though, I want to show my customers and everyone how to um, value price prep photograph blah 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 all of it um, into your I'm gonna make an online course and the purpose of that course is that I'm creating a online buy sell group so that my community can buy sell to each other and uh, that way it's kind of vetted through me in a bit you know if you try to sell things on eBay or buy things on eBay it's who you know it's like rolling the dice kind of thing. Um, I really want a nice private group where the quality can be more you know, monitored and I'll give you all the help on how to price things. And again, there's an online course that uh, everyone will have to take to so that we're on the same page, but it will be really inexpensive. Um, and then I'm gonna help in real time, like live every month. But anyway, I don't have all the details worked out, but I am working on it to uh, happen here in the next couple of months. So you'll definitely want to subscribe if you're only watching this on YouTube. You can go to our website and sign up for our newsletters. Uh, and that way you'll also be notified uh, when all that is coming out to be made aware of it. And, uh, and that's it. And I'm still under half an hour if you're still here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, links are below. And again, these will go really quickly probably but uh, I love sharing new palettes thank you so much for joining me and until next time sparkle brightly like the star that you are Mwah! peace <laughs>